Well, I'm not sure what I'm going to do today, but one thing I know for a fact, it's just way too windy to be trying to paint anything. Well, good morning. Oh, my goodness. Well, yesterday we got that buttoned up, pretty much. And today I'm hoping to put that on up there. And I'm not really sure what all we're going to do today. Just whatever we see that needs done, we're going to do it. It's a nice day. The sun's out. Yeah, coming down the street. Interstate's busy, everybody going to work. Suckers. So, yeah. Here we go on another day's adventure. All right, I got the timing gear on there. We'll get the crank temporarily on. We're going to have to check the book and make sure everything is timed correctly. I'm a little foggy on this, so this might take some time, but this has to be right. Nothing to see here. Go back to your home. Everything's fine. Oh. All right. Got that one in. Get that one in. Oh. Never run out of stuff to do. See. Uh, Magna Chakra Marty, this is On Point. And the On Point is hash out the issues with each other and share what they want for Joe Biden. Hey, not by Coca Candace. Thank you for having me, Megan. Let's see if the bolts for this are anywhere within a six block radius of this garage. Should be here somewhere.
says here, wear gloves, do not get on hands, do not get in eyes. Okay, well, I'm sure that's just, I'm sure that's just a suggestion. Yeah. Yep, there's a cut there. Yep. Yep. Okay, here's something that went real well today. <laughs> I ordered these bolts for this water inlet outlet deal here, and they're too short. And I was missing the bolts that go from the hog's head to the block. Guess what? They are the right thread. And they look nice too, they're kind of domied on top. Got some domage going on. Anyways, I tightened this down, good and tight, and I came over here, and look at that. Fits perfect. That fourth main. Yeah. Wonderful. Finally, some good news. This is the oil breather cap that I'm going to take the top off of and clean it up and repaint it. But I thought maybe I'd just show you what I found. Yeah. It's a wasp or a bee or something like that. What's left of it. All right, these buckets that have bolts in them. Um, I'm going to go through all those, and we're going to find out, try to remember which ones go in where. And I'm not going to make you watch that, but, you know. I thought you liked to be aware. And uh, we'll probably end up having to get the book out. Figuring it out. Alright. Nothing real exciting today, but we did find all the bolts to this timing cover. They're all different, different sizes, shapes and styles very specific to each bolt hole. Got the generator on there, temporarily. So yeah, not exciting work, but very important work. Oh man. I knew I wouldn't be able to keep track of all this crap after taking it apart three months ago. But with the help of the little tea bible and Little, little knowledge. I got it. <laughs> I even found, even found that. All right. Well, there she sits as of today. Yeah, doesn't look too bad. It's starting to really look like something. It won't be long. We'll be able to try this engine out if I get that distributor anytime soon. Lots of uh, lots of issues getting parts this year because of all the hoopla that's going on. Um, basically, if you order something and it's not on their shelf, you're going to be waiting about six weeks for it. So, yeah. I've got no timeline here. Just, just my excitement timeline and my antsy uh, 
DVD or whatever you call it. Yep. What do you call that? What is it they call that where you're fidgety and can't sit still? can't remember what that is. Oh, there's a bird. What was I talking about? chilly morning this morning. 51 degrees. And I'm not sure what we're doing today, but I've got a couple ideas. And I'm sure they'll just blow up in my face, but we'll see. Okay, I think what we'll do today uh, is clean these up, these manifolds. Clean that up. And this one, we learned, is warped, and I think we'll attempt to unwarp it. So, I'm going to try to get that off. So we'll see what happens. cleaned up a little bit. Now we'll see if we can get this nut off and straighten that manifold out and wipe this down and paint it. So that's the next step. This is my exhaust manifold right there. And you'll notice that this gap here is way higher than that gap over there, which means it's bent. And I've got these washers under here for a little extra when I try to bend it back. I'm going to try to eyeball these. But uh, this is my rig. I've got some plate steel here, plate steel there. Um, got a board here board screwed into the sawhorse there to kind of hold that up. Got my come along on here. It comes up, hangs on to here, and keeps anything from going this way. So, we're gonna try it. I got nothing to lose. Yeah. I think it'll work. Maybe. Probably not. Probably end up buying a new one. But, you know.
give some more water. Shut off the torch. I hope we're close. Kind of eyeballing it, it looks close, but I'm not going to know until I actually get it off of there, so I don't think you want to sit here and watch that cool off. All right, for first try, I'm not that disappointed. When it comes to those right there, Oop, if I can get that on there, those look pretty darn good. Now, we went a little overboard out here. Man, it's hard to do that one-handed. This is up just a little bit more than it needs to be. But this is the easy end to bend. This is the hard end, so. Well, we're gonna call that pretty good. And that's, that's not bad either. So we'll do a reheat tomorrow and bring this down just a little bit. You can actually see it with your eye that it's up too high. I get a little too much heat in there. But we'll do that tomorrow. All right. Okay. Here is some carburetor parts. Cleaned up. Wire brush. And most importantly, need remembered how they go together. But I do have a book, so I don't think it's gonna be it's not gonna be too awful bad. Okay, that's most of it. So we'll clean these up. I think I made an attempt on this when I first got the car. We will. All right. Okay, well, here's the carburetor so far. Got the throttle in it. Got the choke in it. Now I've got to look up in the book and get the height on this but I mean I'm not gonna paint this or nothing because you know who knows what carb I'm really gonna end up using but if this will make it run that'll be plenty good we'll worry about the details later just want to try to make it run so yep all right Right there. Oh, and I got uh, I got gaskets and whatnot here. So if I get this done today, I think I'd be pretty happy. All right, that looks better. Got the bowl drain put in, cleaned. Yeah, that'll look much better. I mean, aesthetically it doesn't really matter, but as long as it works. So, I think this is the way it goes. Looking better. Well, let's see. This might be an issue. This is the gasket. Obviously, there's been a miscommunication here because uh, I don't know about anybody else, but that just doesn't seem right to me. 
get the book out and reorder it. Man. All right. This is what it looks like cleaned up. Looking pretty good. Things in there. Everything functions. This is the fuel needle, which you can adjust on the go in theory. So I got to get some different uh, gaskets because that one's no good. It's not the right size. At least it didn't seem like it when I was messing with it. Now it kind of looks like it is. Nah, I'll check it out. I know this one isn't. But, uh, yeah. So that's, that's a pretty good amount of work. Alright. Oh. We got this painted up. That's looking pretty, pretty snazzy. Intake manifold. I don't know if that's the one I'm going to use. But if I do, there it is. All right. Good morning. Today we're gonna take a break. Yeah. And we're gonna go have some airplane fun. Yep. It's a real nice day today. Won't be a whole lot of these left, so we're taking off. Literally. This is a Top Flight Schoolmaster. It's a 1960s design by Ken Willard. Uh, it was kitted for many, many years, but uh, kits are long gone or very expensive on eBay, so I built this one from plans. It's a good little flyer. I like it because it's small. It doesn't take up a lot of space. So today, that's what we're doing. We're over here charging everything up. And we'll, we'll get back on the T tomorrow. Or the next day. All right. Aim it right for those stakes. 